and you and me in it. Hey everybody, it's me, Cash West. We are playing another episode of D&D. This is our fourth episode, right? I think the so. Eighth episode, Correct? I think. No, fourth episode? I think this is fourth. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fifth. So. Uh, it's fourth, it's fourth. Okay, it's I'm fourth, fourth, fourth or fifth. fifth. So this is actual fourth. Oh, it's okay. okay, it's the fourth. It's good enough for me. We'll we'll the fourth be with you. So, we are back That's for another day. episode of D&D. Where we left off, I will let Greg take over. So Greg is the DM. Everybody knows Greg. Say hi. What's up, everybody? You can't really see him. He's behind the camera and behind our figurines. We got Brando. Hi. We got Mike Alduzu. We got. What up, guys? It's Steve. Steve Starr, myself, Cash West. All right. So. Um, how was that? Am I too loud? I sound too loud. Which one is You're a little echoey, but so you could probably get rid of that because multiple mics are picking you up. Okay, which one is that? That would be D and D head. D and D head. D and D head. Okay, we can hear the song. All right, so hopefully everybody can still hear me, and we are gonna get this game started. <coughs> and Greg, without further ado, it's on you, bud. All right, does everybody remember pretty much where we left off last time? I think so. Just a quick re- little recap. You guys won against a. Uh, the grand tourney for the uh, sort of a carnival thing. Yeah. That was good on Facebook, and I didn't check Twitch. But it's on both Facebook and Twitch. Oh, hell yeah. Sorry. Man. Hello, <laughs> did it from the interwebs. All right, guys, let's do this. All right, he's taking us a re- quick recap of where we left off. Yeah, you guys won the bout. You guys fought uh, some uh, acrobatic sort of guys that um, amalgamated into like a Voltron sort of guy. Right. Uh, Everybody was kicking their ass. Uh, Honey Badger shoved his sword up his ass. But the thing to take him down was fucking gin and juice. Just walking up and kick him in the knee. I was rolling down the street smoking endo. <laughs> Apparently. Gin with gin and juice. Apparently. That was some... Did you put us live in there? Um... Yeah, we're live in... No, I didn't. We're live on... The open mic show page. So share that to Nerd Zone to make us live in Nerd Zone. Um, I gotta share oh, this. With you? <coughs> yeah, well, oh, okay. I did. I've already closed my phone. You gotta do it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, um, sure. What'd you share? What's the group you shared with me? It's the open mic sure. show. I'm at fucking. Your I'm, s- <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're cut off. <laughs> you <laughs> must keep going. No. Okay, it says we're live. Gotcha. No, I have to take you until you get there. No. Nope. You have to get to this level. No. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. He hasn't even reached this level. <laughs> you don't understand the day I... He reached that level and then came back and ran Oh, no, I'm just stunned today. Like, usually it takes a lot, but... You know, like, you the server <laughs> eating y'all also, it's having a good Jesse, y'all don't forget, you also had two of those Buckeyes. I'm, yeah, I'm a social smoker. Yeah, a Buckeye eater. Can I, can I have that now? Copy link. Paste and alright, we're good all to right, go. We're good to go. Yep, we know where we left off. Can hear you. <laughs> Who can you hear? He's just saying that. Really thinks, he's really so really paranoid. Really he thinks that anybody. <laughs> Nobody said your name. <laughs> all right. So, we were. Yes, you won the tourney, and then you guys were. About to get the prize, uh, but you guys were taking back, uh, we're going back to the back area where you guys ran into uh, the short guy named Mr. Big, the uh, <laughs> ringleader, I guess, if you, uh, if you would call this circus <coughs> or carnival. But he comes in, uh, or when you guys walk to the back, he, you guys walk in, he says, It's good to see you guys won. I got a job for you. <coughs> and that's where we continue at. So, do we want to take the job? Hold I don't on, know. Hold on. What the fuck are you talking about? What is this, <laughs> job, guys? <coughs> I couldn't tell you. I'm sound intrigued though, because I'm all about making beer money. That, that's all you do is drink your beer. Yeah. And fight. And then. Drink your beer. Also, every now and then he takes thick, gooey stuff to do the throat. Do you remember on Game of Thrones when Robert Browning said, "I remember when I used to love to." All I cared about was drinking beer and cracking skulls. No, I've never Oh, no, it was fucking whores and cracking skulls. Wh- what, what is this, right. Game of Thrones? He didn't even say Game of Thrones. You said Game of Thrones. No, no. who is this Robert Baratheon? <laughs> what do you mean? 
Who me? I took a time out on a plane. Oh, I was just saying, oh you didn't say that you were that game. Time out, out of game. Jesus. I was just saying, that's what my character is based off. Robert Baratheon. Oh, you're Robert Baratheon. Oh, okay, you're, you're basing it. Are you, so you're basically, you're a flaming Robert Baratheon. Well, well, not a, not a flaming, but a flaming. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, but no, no, no. Yes, but no. Yeah, gotcha. So, all right. Um, all right, so yeah, you guys come back. He says, I got a job for you. Uh, you basically you ask what the job is then, basically, That's right? That's what I'm hearing. Uh, ba he basically he goes over the corner, sits down as you guys sit down with him, and he starts explaining it. He says, uh, we've been traveling around for a while now. Uh, we set up these fights, trying to basically find our champion. We got, uh, you may not have heard of him, but uh, hundreds of years ago, there's a guy that uh, went by the name of Chris Kringle. Chris Kringle. Now, you, now your characters don't know who it is. I've heard of this guy. <laughs> I just wanted to go to... Who the hell is Chris Kringle? He is a deity from way back in the old days. He used to... Uh, he was the god of giving. He Every year he would give gifts to everybody on the planet. And people used to love him. <laughs> Until one day... The purists were able to get a hold of him. And we've been trying to get him free ever since. And the whole reason for this whole setup for these uh, matches is to find our champion. And we think you might be it. You might be the champion. Sir, is Chris Pringle still being held captive? Yeah, he's been there for over 400 years. Yeah, we go, we'll go get him for a bunch of gold. For a bunch of gold. We can spend all kinds of beer money on gold. Um, the gold. I'm ready when, if they want to decide on this and to have a democracy here, we do a vote. So what, <coughs> what, what's going on now? I was writing, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's, go ahead and explain it, Brando. <coughs> so we're going to go, we're going to go get Chris Sprinkle and they're going to give us a bunch of gold. Right. Basically. Well, I don't remember him agreeing to gold, <laughs> but. Right, so <laughs> why don't we hear the man out for the rewards and then make our decision. Yeah, we want their rewards. It's gold. <laughs> and a little more detail on what we have to do. Yeah, like what exactly? So I, I already get the gist that it's a prison escape, or a pr or a, or a jail bust, I guess. So we gotta get the Kringle out alive. Yeah, we need Kringle back alive. He's the one that gives us our magic. He's the one that uh, we worship, and we want to bring him back Sounds into like a this bunch world. Of fucking elves. Man. No shit. Just like the little motherfuckers. Um. He's also he says, by the way, you can call me Mr. Big. I don't think we've actually been introduced. <laughs> he comes up to about <laughs> maybe mid time. Not a problem, tiny. Um. <laughs> he calls you tiny. <laughs> Mr. Big, eh? <laughs> Mr. Big. How uh? How dangerous? Is uh, how dangerous would you say this prison is? Like, where's where's it at? Like, how many people, how many guards we looking at? Like, minimum, like minimum security, maximum security. Well, we don't really know. See, it's in the South Pole, and none of us can get in. There's what? a spell that keeps any of it, uh, people that are associated with them from getting in. Right. So which is back. why we have to find the champion. We have to find someone good at fighting, and we're hoping you're it. Now, when you say you're, is you talking one of us or all four of us? Y'all went into this as a team. Okay. I'm just asking if there's more gold for us. What kind of loot? Okay, what kind of loot? Yeah, loot wise. I'm like. Well, I guess I suppose you wouldn't do it out of the goodness of your heart, would you? Nope. No, that's for the big guy to do. Uh. Well, we don't have a lot, but the big guy has powers. He may, he'll be able to give you something good. <coughs> Once he's free and uh, can, uh, can get his powers back, like, well, we'll make I sure mean, you get something. That works for you. I guess he's out of the country for a while. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe he's getting out of town. He's out of the country. <coughs> Seriously, I mean, I'm being chased. You're, you're already up for murder, so I mean, yeah. we and need being AWOL because you ain't been around for like okay. a week. So in return for what the big guy gives us, we need you to start rumors that we died around town. 
spread we rumors. need your people to spread rumors that we died around that. <laughs> we can do that. And once you see the big guy, we can make him forget. Some some gold. Gold. Uh, go? Listen, we're raiding a prison, so there's going to be an arm race. Now my question. Thank you. My <laughs> question. I got another no. question. What's up? Is is the big guy going to give each of us a grant, a wish, or whatever he does? Or listen, for all of us we'll probably have to discuss that with the big guy because the elves. I don't want to go. Yeah, we have we have been able to talk with him. Well, we, we don't know that they're elves. The little guy doesn't doesn't have that kind of power. Okay. Just then, I'm uh, uh, joking. It was turned into the little guy. <laughs> Oh. As you guys are talking, uh, you see uh, one of the tent flap open on the other side of the room, uh, and a little lady walks in, and she says, these are the guys not so? Mr. Big says, yeah, these are the guys. I'm hoping they'll help oh, us. So big. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, bro. Okay. Literally, I only had her come in for that joke. Ah, zing. <laughs> Burn! All right, so are you guys want to do this? Well, of course. Yeah. Why How not? are we getting to the South Pole? Yeah. Okay. Now we can't take you directly to there, to there, but we can open a portal a couple miles outside of the barrier. Oh, Once not. you get transported there, we won't be able to help you though. So here's the thing. Have you sent people down there for recon whatsoever? Because I kind of want to know what we possibly might be getting into. Well, like how big of an area is this? So uh, those of us that uh, were the big guys help us, we can't get so anywhere I, close to it. There's an actual physical barrier for us. Okay. Is that when you find the wall? Apparently, some or are they like dying on that thing that I kicked? Well, we've only recently found where he was about 50 years ago, and we've spent the past 50 years trying to find someone. Strong enough to go after them. We think you guys might be them. I'm gonna kick the barrier. Is there any uh, payment up front to get us to where we need to, like yes. maybe supplies we need or food? Or Absolutely. You did win the tournament after all. Yep. Hey, uh, motions for uh, the lady that came in to go back, uh, go get the winnings. She'll be back in a few minutes with that. <laughs> Now, is there anything we can help? Uh, I mean, you guys do agree to help us, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We're yeah, in. I'm in. I'm in. We're in. Fuck it. Whatever we gotta get. I gotta I'm get in. Out of the fucking I'm in. I don't care if no we problem. split up or not. You can have it do two different things. I'm going an to asshole. save. <laughs> I'm oh, going yeah. to save this Chris Kringle feller. Uh, Kringly Chris. Bite sized guy's got a point. He, he, he's talking me into it. <laughs> How big are you? I'm he's like normal, normal human height. No. I'm like five. He's nine. he's like quite slightly shorter, like maybe an inch shorter than most of them. That's the way tieflings are. They're like slider of build. Right. Uh, a couple minutes later, the lady comes back through the tent flap carrying a chest with uh, a lock chest. She brings it up to you. She pulls out a set of keys and unlocks it. She opens it. There's a pile of gold there. What? Uh, All right. How so, much is there and how are we divvying it? Three, well, three, he's got a. Okay, so first we gotta find out how much it is, then divide that by four. After you That's guys seven. count it up, there's 200 gold. 200, 200 gold 200 divided gold. by gold. Each of us got 50 gold. 50 gold. Woohoo! 52 Jeez. gold. What? It's 200. Fuck, did you learn your math? I know, right? Wait, hold on. Yeah. I was, I was, no, 200. I like his <gasps> man. <laughs> I would you're too if I were playing as a DM, though, no. The only pencil we had was just the one that came. I have a mechanical one. It's a pen on it. We each got 50 gold? Yes. Good. Good I have a pencil right here. <laughs> Peter, good sir. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so we're doing this mission. Um, where's this portal, bud? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go to the portal, we, all we got was 50 fucking gold. Are, I don't have anything good worth Do the. Doing. Okay, so do you know what kind of climate we're going into? South Pole. Bro. Yeah, South Pole. Very okay, cold. So is it our. Okay, so are we. Our geograph, so it's just going to be a sheet of ice or. 
Basically, that, okay. it's not ours, but basically it could be the, the two poles of yeah. just about any planet are usually cold. Okay, I was just making sure because this is a magical planet. Magical planet. I mean, I am a fucking magical. wizard. Sure enough, this could just be yeah. a flat planet. Yeah. It's fucking Discworld. Flat matter. You're walking around with Donut a Donut world. Donut world. Right. <laughs> Donut. <laughs> no, man, it's a donut. There you go. That could be your uh, group's name, the Flat Earthers. No way. <laughs> it's a donut. Oh, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not even going down that road. Right <laughs> <at all>. Night. <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do that. that. Okay, so, okay, so let's fucking sir, Okay, Mr. Big, do we? Uh, do you have a shop we can visit? Absolutely. You've seen them all around the uh, tent outside. All right, so... Let's go run this. All right, well, we got to roll for priority, right? For like, like, Yeah, like, who goes first? That's only, like, during combat or something. Okay. <laughs> I've had it, too. All right, I'd like to go, uh, I, I want to go get Yeah, prepared. we want a discount. Let's just go get fucking shit. They might just give it to us when we get there. Uh, we right. are the fucking saviors. <laughs> Well, potential saviors. We're going. Just so let's head over here. Yeah. We're at the. Let's, <laughs> we're gonna go to the market, I guess. All right, you go up to the market. Uh, they see you walking up with uh, Mr. Big, and immediately the vendors start to get excited. Is this them? Is this them? That's us. Yeah. Hello. I guess so. Mr. Oh. Big says. Told us. Uh, we should come shop here. <laughs> Mr. Big just gives you a fucking look. You just wait. Mm -hmm. See, you're going to get us fucked up, dude. Yeah. Uh, you don't worry about firecrackers. <laughs> so, um, I'd like to shop for some winter gear. Like, uh... She looks at you, absolutely. What could I, uh, what would you like? I just need a big coat to protect me from the elements. Alright, uh, you see her run, uh... Behind her little stand and open up a trunk, she starts digging through stuff. She pulls out like a big parka with like full a wool lining and stuff like awesome. that. Alright, what does that run in there? You can have it. Awesome. You're gonna save us, right? Uh and let's see. You're gonna save the big guy, right? Uh, we're gonna try. Well, right, if you well, die trying, you can keep down. the stuff. Do do uh that's how it rolls, but I'm gonna save stuff. Do we um do do they have any enchanted weapons? No, they do Swords not. or staffs? No. You ask yeah. them that, and they, you, their face just kind of goes crestfallen a little bit. Nah, we lost most of our magic. All of our magic rests with Morley. Okay. I've with heard his name oh. Morley before. Marley is the street. Yeah. Where the carnival's at, everything's at. Yeah. Yeah. Just setting stuff up. Um, okay, um, can I, mace. You have your mace. Shut up. I need a really, really, really... And, and a better bow, seeing how the last string broke. <laughs> you see her, uh... And I, I wouldn't mind a big-ass jacket like that either. As well. Oh, yeah, she has other jackets there. She hands you all one. Okay, cool. They're, like, varying colors and stuff. They're, like, not uniform. They're, like, all patchwork and stuff like that. Cool. But they definitely will do the job. They will keep you warm. They might have, like, a big patchwork star on the back. She asks you, she'll throw it in for you. Oh, sweet. Thanks, sweetheart. Not a problem. Save us, please. Uh, so you give me a bow and a fucking sword. Yeah, and you, met, you mentioned the short sword. She gets a thoughtful look over her face real quick. Then she uh, face kind of brightens. She says, follow me. She takes you over to uh, another, like, one of those wagons that, uh, like, circus people have or whatever. Right, right, gotcha. And uh, uh, she starts knocking on the door. Well, a uh, guy answers the door it's one of the uh the strong men basically just huge muscles and stuff like that and she starts talking to him he walks in and comes back out he says this has been in my family for generations but if you can save us it's yours you hear me sir you hear me no i missed that end because i got asked a question <laughs> no you're fine uh she answers the door of the yeah, basically a right. big muscle that. guy answers it. He said it's been in his goes, family for years. Yeah, it's been in his family for years, but if you can save us, take it. Okay, so I will take that. You, and I also, if she has like a decent bow, I would like that as well. I'll pay. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give the dude five gold for loaning me the sword. Appreciate it. 
It'll be used. He says as he puts it into his pocket. I'm going to take care of the people that take care of me. Now, about that bow. You it mentioned that to the guy? Uh, to whoever can get me a badass bow that I can use. Okay, well, you mentioned it in the presence of the guy, and he says, hold on, I've got an old hunting bow you can use, too. You mean, hey, <laughs> squash that. He's getting ten gold from me. <laughs> <laughs> He's even more thankful now. So, sixty total gold? No. Brando, are you getting something? He, I'm giving him ten gold. Well, no, you already gave him 25. No, I didn't. He pocketed I gave him it. Black cloak? He... I gave him five initially. Oh, okay. And I said, never mind, I'm giving him 10. Okay. How about you, Hoodie Badger? So, Brando an additional first. five. Okay. Uh, funky Monkey. He said he wants a black cloak with some powers, if possible. They don't have anything ma uh, magical with them. All the, uh, Basically, from what they told you, all their powers have been basically zapped. All their stuff is dressed with more. It's a black cloak. Yeah, they can get you a black cloak. Uh, they actually pull out a red one, but they go back and they dye it real quick, or they perform magic or something to turn it black. So, everybody equipped? Wait, you didn't no, get what you want. Well, you got the coat. Everybody got the big coat. Yeah. Is that just like a regular short sword? Or? No, it's a short sword. Uh, does one fire damage. Or, I'm sorry, 1d6 fire damage. Plus... Yeah, they can get you a shield. So it's yeah. four, one, D, six, yeah. fire. Uh, Plus in addition to its regular damage. Exactly. Can I have the searching of the money? And the hunting bow? No, they'll give it to you. The hunting bow is just a regular hunting bow. Okay. So it's just going to be whatever it's standard is. Yeah. Um, Let's just hope you don't roll a one on this one. <laughs> I will take whatever you have handy for it. I think it matters when I fire. call you short names. Just now you, short names. I can't remember. You two weapon you're holding one weapon with two hands or holding uh, a weapon I in each hand? I can do two medium okay. sized weapons in each hand, I assume. Yeah. And then uh, that's that whatever they got that comes in a big sack over there. Uh we got axes, swords, maces, whips. Uh what do you want? stats. Now you wouldn't be able to use those one in each hand. What if they come apart? Like two, oh, use it like the yeah. You, they oh, yeah, they can figure uh, figure something out that for you. Uh, <coughs> one of them goes over to their uh, one of the mages that they got, one of the magic guys. Yep. He takes uh, what's two basically two staffs. He waves his hands over and starts chanting a little bit. No, 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 no. And you can see him sort of like locked together. You see, she ta uh, taps it uh, three times real quick, and it comes apart. So they just stay together and work on the and she shows shows you exactly how to do it. It's three taps on like a certain part of it. Okay. What did you do? My bow staff had to stay together and fell apart. Oh, I mean, I just gave you dope. a quarter staff. I have one. Well, that, 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 that bow staff is dope. dope. It is. It really Any other special, special tactics or just to come? That's well, it. They, they can't do like actual like stuff that'll be like yeah. beneficial yeah, that way. Sword, but, but like small like little they, spells they, like they, that, they still got enough to I asked if they had any. In they don't. No, they don't have any enchanted weapons. But after they came over and they can get another big party member for them, kind of maybe similar to mine. They've already basically stated they don't have like any more magic. Okay. Uh, that's why yeah, when the, like when the lady's face lit up. Times. Okay, so <laughs> when you were talking to the lady, uh, honey bat or not honey badger, but didn't you? When your character was talking to her, mm -hmm. that's when her face lit up and she went to that guy. That's okay. like the only okay. thing they might have had to like that. Okay, so, um, so I'm ready, of, you're ready, them. you're ready, he's ready. Let's right. jump through that fucking portal. Let's do it. All right. All right, well, first, uh, they don't do it right away. They give you guys, like, till the next day, they let you sleep and stuff like that. Because it's night and night, you guys just went through a battle, all that. But the next day, after you guys wake up, uh, you know, they have a little ceremony, wish you guys well. Then Natsu comes uh, up. He has, like, a little, looks like a little candle. He puts it in the ground, lights it. Uh, the flame is red at first, but then sort of sparks and turns blue. And you see the smoke sort of start to rise up, and it forms a bit of a circular uh, shape. And you start to see it haze over in the middle. And you start to see, like, icy terrain and stuff like that. Huh. I wonder what these words say around this portal. Uh, there's no actual words, it's just smoke kind of rising. <laughs> 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 Winter is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we go through the portal. You ready, everybody? 
do this. He says, uh, this candle can stay lit for 12 hours. We can uh, open another portal, but we're not certain exactly where it'll open on that side. You're not sure where it'll open on that side? Yeah, on our side. The center of the center? Yeah, basically, what's that? They got those tickets, like the, way, like the Wayfinder. Is there a way to put that on the thing for a portal? Not for a portal. Is there a way to put that on the thing for a portal? Not for that, but... Uh, Actually, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. He uh, comes back and gives you one of those tickets. Sweet. He says, if you can't find the portal, if, if we have to restart it, follow this. It should at least give you a guidepost to go by. Cool. Hold on. All right, I'll, 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 I'll right. take a second. I want to apologize to you. I, think of it. I was like, damn, that's a good fucking Where idea. Up? Okay, okay so. so. Sweet. Here we go. I'm Yeah, we're gonna have your voice to play with too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean what happened? Well, it says be right back. Okay. We're at the portal. We're in the icy train. We're in the vicinity of the guy we gotta find. Can I see his book? Yeah. Oh, I don't see him. <laughs> or not at all. You guys should watch it live. You can try calling in sometime. Yeah. I got a character you can play if you do. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Oh my god. Yeah, it makes this shit interactive, man. Is that supposed to be your character? Or, oh, that's your mace, isn't it? Yeah, that's the ball You have like an enemy head on it? No, it's, it's a, a dragon a head. Dragon. Oh. She had a mace. It's his ball. Got it. And then that's just that hat. Now it's a bottom. It's a <laughs> All right, so you guys open up into this just huge snowy terrain. Uh, you see mostly all white around you, except for you can see what looks like a mountain peak a little in the distance. And you can assume that's pretty much where you're thinking you're going to go. Everything, <coughs> like everything else is just like a flat sheet of ice. Mm, makes sense. What do you guys think? I say we move towards the mountain, the lonely mountain. Okie dokie. Um, let's move that way. All right. Uh, you guys, uh, it's start moving. It's a little slow moving because of all the uh, snow and all that. You guys especially aren't really used to it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brando. Yes. Breathe fire into the snow in effort to create us a path. Roll me an intelligence check. Uh, intelligence. So, uh, D20 plus, plus your intelligence modifier. So, it would be plus three, plus two. <laughs> no, you can't nope. do it. No, I will say he couldn't do it, but he... I'm not going to say a word. But, yeah, yeah, you can try and do that. Huh. All right, I'll try and do it. The uh, roll was to realize something else. Again? Uh, no, he's a fire uh, or a uh, dragon kid or whatever it is. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, he can just do it. Okay. Sweet. He's got <laughs> once a day he can use it, I think, so he can use it up right here. I'm a fire guy. Wow. Well, he's <laughs> fire right at the beginning. Probably wasn't intelligent at this point. Yeah. So, it'll work. Uh, you make a. Not really a path because you can you can't like continuously blow it as you're going. You only get like the one breath weapon per day. Uh, you make basically an indention that basically keeps going down. It basically just fills with water that from the melted ice. Ah, dummies! And you guys start realizing, okay, maybe this is all this snow and ice for quite a ways down. So yeah, probably wasn't the best idea to use that breath weapon. Good job. I was thinking yeah, about making. I realized that I have like. Wasn't really my idea. But that's okay. Do I got plenty of hands? Yeah. Okay. So I yes, but a, yours you uh, can basically control the heat of, in a way. Like it's still fire. You can burn stuff, but you can be like sit there and touch fire or paper and I stuff like that. Hold on. Let's see. 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 Let's
Just saying, but never mind. Too late. You guys use the big dumb move. Now it's fucking laser powder. Yep, and uh, as you're watching, you can see it start to freeze over again. Ah, sweet. Yeah. Well, right, I get the now? hell out of that, off of that. Yeah. yeah. And I'll yeah, just I'll you know, saw that stuff. Fucking running. <laughs> I thought I had a good idea. Sorry, guys. <laughs> let's just walk on the ice. Let's just walk. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're just head towards the mountains. All right. Uh, after a few minutes of traveling, uh, give me a perception check. Uh, that's uh, what? D20. D20 plus, if you have it, your perception. perception. I see a nat 20 over there. So one of you saw it. Uh, I'm a 16. I rolled an 8. Four. Uh, the only one that saw it was Brando. Of course, well, 16. you didn't see it with a 16. Damn. Uh, Brando, what did you see? Funky Monkey, uh, you see in the white blur, you can see something glinting. And it looks like it's moving. Uh, doesn't look like it's that far away, but you can't really tell seeing as how the wind's blowing and... So, like, 120 feet away? Less than that. Probably about 100 feet away. Of course you tell the dude that it's dark now. Is it dark now? What's that? Is it dark now? Uh, it's kind of like Twilight-ish. I hate Devil's Sight. I can see in the dark for 120 feet normally. Yeah, but uh, where the wind's blowing and kicking up snow and stuff, it makes it harder to see. Uh, it's almost like a mist. Well, let's go check it out, guys. I see some shit. <clears throat> All right, I'll, uh, I'll guard you. All right, let's do this. All right, you guys start moving towards it. Yeah, let me actually get some a couple things out real quick. We're walking in a straight line, I assume. Yeah. That's up I'll to you guys. Yep. Yeah. No. Put me. Which guy is yours? This guy? No. This guy. Probably that guy. This is funky. This is me. Hold on. Save me the two that are dragon. This is funky. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's me. Because that was the most demon esque looking one. That's right. So put him in the far back. You in the back? Yeah. Oh, you said him. That's yeah. right. Him, him, you, you, him. I want, just like, I want me far back. Far you are in the back. Farther back. Oh my fucking lord. Yeah, like right there. Good to you. Oh, he's just a couple steps behind you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, actually, I'm gonna do it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, might have to adjust the camera. No, no, I'm gonna try and work around the camera. Give me a second. Hold on. Is that the order you guys are going in? Yeah. Hold on. You guys start heading in this direction. Uh, you see the glint off in this direction as you guys start moving about 30 feet towards it. You see it uh, move off towards the right, and then you kind of lose track of it. We lost sight of it. Let's run after it. Let's run after it. Nobody knows where it's at. Roll me another perception check. Shit. Nothing. 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 Uh, again, uh, Funky Monkey's the only one that got it. Uh, you see another one, but it's not in the direction, or another movement, but it's not in the direction you saw the other one go. It's coming from your left-hand side. There's another one on the left. Well, you are, he's here. Let's go check it out. We're going over that way. No, I'm not following Brando. No, I'm not going on a wild I'll go with you. No. I'm trying to go. No, I'm going to break off. I'm going towards the mountains. We have to continue with yeah, the story. Yeah, I'm going to go after Chris Pringle. We have to go to the mountain. All right, fine. Let's just go 
All right, while you guys are actually arguing over this, uh, you hear a growl from behind you. Shit. Of course. It wouldn't matter if we went towards the man who was there the whole time. Okay. (laughs) So I turn around to look behind us, and what do I see? You see a white wolf behind you. All right, That's the reason it? Hard, it, wasn't hard, it was hard to see is because it's a white wolf and it's all white terrain. How many feet <clears throat> is it within? It's within 15 feet of you. All right. Um, I, so it, it notices me, correct? Yes. Okay. So In um, fact, give me an intelligence check. It just helps. Huh? Just me. D20, yeah. right? Well, all of you can give me an intelligence check if you uh, cause all, you pointed it out to them, right? Yeah. And it's all yeah, everybody can do it. Okay, so D20. Yeah, 18, 15. 15. Uh what what'd you get? Funky well, monkey? Well, plus anything for your intelligence? Oh, uh plus three, so fifteen. Alright, okay, good. Y'all got it. Uh you guys are starting oh, to realize when you say one wolf, there's probably multiple and it seems like these guys are hunting you now. Mm-hmm. Awesome. We're hungry. Okay, so this is what I would like to do. I would like to um, move in ten feet closer to the wolf to put me about five feet away from it. All right. All right, and then I'd like to use my hypnotic gaze. Oh, sorry, I got the wrong guy. Oh, God damn it. Technical difficulties. There always is. Did I? No. no. Yes, you did. <laughs> Sorry. I died. Okay, so. Yeah. All right, that's so that's got that. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I know which one's you. You're always the flaming one. Yeah. I'm not sure the part. I'm the staff flaming <laughs> wizard. All right, what are you doing again? Uh, uh, hypno- I'm try- I want to use my hypnotic gaze on it. All right, you have to make a roll for that. I can't remember. Um, <coughs> I don't. I don't see here. I'll let you read it. Okay, yeah. Plus <coughs> what was it again? The hypnotic, uh, hypnotic gaze. gaze. It's part of my schooling. Which one was it? Okay, I see it. I see Enchantments. It. Okay, you have to do a wisdom saving throw against it. Look at you. Alright, here you go. And now you got your whole. Oh! Oh! Alright, you attempt to do that. Uh, Not a white wolf. Maybe. Potentially. Nat 20, he did not get that white wolf. Oh! Oh! Yeah, so I don't even need to roll, do I? What's that? I don't even need to roll then, do I? Yeah, you did not yeah. get him. He's <laughs> you yeah, completely he's, failed. He's just like, no, nah, I don't want to that. on that shit. Yeah. All right. So while I'm, you guys are doing that, uh, what's your armor class real quick? Uh, mine. Cash? Uh, four. What's that? Four. It's more than four. I don't know what it is. What's my armor class? What's armor class? What, how do you figure it? It was, I can't remember. It was 10 plus your dexterity modifier if you're able to use it, plus your armor. Uh, so it's. It'd be 13. Where's my armor? It should be on the page with your. Uh, Whatever your cloak is, though, isn't it? Cloak doesn't really add any extra chain protection. Link armor? More. Chain link armor? Chain link. Did I give, give oh, you the points for that? I'll tell you, it's 14. Chain link is 14. That's it's what, 14. That's what mine is. It's 14 with the. Uh, no, it's dexterity. 14 and is then it's uh, plus 3 dexterity. It's 17. Okay, so he's got 17 armor class then. Well, that's right. what mine is. I'm yeah, just saying no, that's his what dexterity mine is. is 16 and right. plus 3 for his modifier. So his dexterity modifier is 3. If the chain well, no, because. 14, yeah. yeah, 15, 16, and then it's still plus 3. Yeah. So yeah, no, so it's the exact same thing. So what okay. is yours? It's uh, my, my chain mount. Yeah, it's 14 no, plus those armor dexterity. Plus 17. All right. Uh, oh, we're gonna look at the first house character. She's trying to help figure it out because I'm Jesse. I've been watching all that shit. Learned it. Something hits you from behind. It doesn't uh, actually 
do any damage, but it does hey, kind of make you snowball. trip over yourself a bit. Something fucking hit him with a snowball. <laughs> I'm not happy. You got snowballed. All right. Now he is down on the ground though, face first. It's Shit. on top of him. Somebody help right, him up. So I'm I'm gonna help him up. All right. You turn around and you see a wolf on top of him. Oh. Um. I'm going to. Do you alert everybody else? Yeah. Did and you this guys is, hear me? Yeah. Oh, at shit. this point, it just goes to initiative. So everybody roll okay. your initiative. Thank God. So that's a 20, right? Be like, can I? Yeah. Oh, God. oh, you gotta roll that again. Get you guys get to go before them because they rolled a one. Nice. I got a six. I got a, a nine, 17. 17. Brando got an 18. <laughs> so, right. Brando, me, Jim, I go last. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I didn't there. even roll a d20. Hey, I didn't roll a d20. Can I re-roll? <laughs> yeah, if you roll over a d20, you have to re-roll. Uh, it's still a 6. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what is everybody going at? It's Brando first. Alright. So Brass Monkey, Gin and Juice, um, Honey Badger, Honey Badger, and then who's there? And then some big bad wolf. Alright, guys. So Honey Badger, I got your back. I, I know what I'm going to do for my turn. Alright. So that goes to Funky Monkey first. Alright, how close are these fuckers to me? Uh, to you... You see him on the other side of uh, Gin and Juice, and you see uh, Funky Monkey on the ground just in front of him. I'm Funky Monkey. I'm sorry, you see uh, Honey Badger on the ground just in front of him, sorry. Alright, I want to run up and smack the wolf in the face with my base. No, I want to kick it off of him. Uh, Too late, you get to go first. Damn it. You walk up to it. Uh, we'll smack the wolf in the face. Roll your attack. D20 plus... Sixteen plus what, my... Strength? Yeah, it should be your strength and your proficiency plus bonus. A proficiency bonus? Yep. Is, is that... Uh, That's at the bottom plus, two. plus two. Plus two. Yeah. Actually, uh, so I, I think the level 2 goes up to 3, but no, I'm not sure. Is it still plus, table I, I was looking at? Okay. Plus 2. Plus 2. Plus 2. Alright, so yeah, you hit it. Go ahead and roll me damage. Which is what number? Or what's my... What die? Uh, well, you were just using your hand, weren't you? You went to kick it? No, he... He used his mace. He slapped it in the face. He used the mace? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what was the... I don't know what the damage on your mace was. I can't remember what Did I... Did you write it down? He should have. No, there was no, there was no damage ever given. Oh, there! I thought I could have I did. All right. Uh, I'll say it's a D8. Okay. Fling your D8. D8? Yeah, write the D8 down for it. Six? That's a D10. Yeah, done. And that was a nine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I got a two. Two? Alright. Yeah, that's a D6. Alright, you walk over to it, you uh, swing your mace at it, you catch it right in the ear and uh, knock it off of uh, Honey Badger. She rolled the wrong die. Well, yeah. well, I did. Oh, you did. He does it. How high are you again? Yeah. Apparently two. There, go. there we go. He dealt one more damage than he did before. So yeah. you're lucky I called that out. So basically, same thing I said before. You walk over and uh, take your mace upside his head. You knock it off, uh, off of Honey Badger. Yeah. Uh, and that goes to. Thank you. That goes to Gin and Juice. All right. So, what is positioning? Okay. Uh, he knocked the wolf over this way. It's. Here, I'm gonna. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm looking. Is it just the one wolf? You can also see the one back here. That's all you see right now. Okay. Um, so this one is like over here. Is it like on its side or is it straight it's up? It's semi on its side. It got knocked off, but it's like kind of okay hunched over. I guess so you I'm say. like right here, right? So I want to come up on it, and I want to just like kick it in its gut. 
All right, yeah, I'm just going to be like, the bows right in between his legs. Roll the attack. Six. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get it. You, you, you go to uh, try and kick it, and you uh, your foot gets stuck in the snow when you go to get it. Okay, so... No, my attack is my action, damn it. I can't cast a spell to it, so I can't use one of the abilities that I have from my... Yeah, you can only do a move and an attack. Okay, I got you. I'm All done right. then. That goes to Honey Badger. You now have the wolf off of you. You can get up now. I can stand up before I do anything? I would. I mean... <laughs> I'm making sure that doesn't cost me like a roll or anything. No, you don't have to roll for it, but it, it is your move equivalent action. So you can either move or attack, but you can't do both. Okay, so I'm still... I haven't equipped my uh, bow staff, but I still have my sword and my axe equipped. Okay. So I want to try to chop off its back legs. All right, take a swing. D20? Yep. Nine plus my str- what is it, strength? Yes. Thirteen. No, you did not get it. What? Because, well, because you were t- trying to actually aim for the back leg, that's oh. called a called shot. It increases the difficulty a little bit. Oh. Damn. So you go to take your swing. Should have swung. <laughs> and off. you're aiming for the uh, leg. That was but and you swing and you just graze the tail. Nope. <laughs> Pretty much. Bar. Okay. Uh, that goes to oh, Zuzu. Okay, so how close am I to these animals? The ones right in front of you that you were trying to trace. I'm willing to bet these guys are uh, going to fight tonight. Roll me a perception. I want to know if you even notice the other uh, wolf is on top of him. Oh, that's a d20. Yeah. I have 12. This is 18. Yeah, you noticed it. Uh, you're about 10 feet from you is where uh, the other group is. Yeah. All right, so I take my um, my ice dagger. All right, and I go to stab the uh, the wolf broadside because I'm within five feet, right? So I can just the one in front of you, right? Yeah, the one right next to me. All right, so what do I need to roll? Uh, Just roll a d20. What is that? I lost it. Thirteen. It's like me searching for my keys Uh, for a while. What's that? A did 10. You no, you did not get the, that. That was a 10. Damn it. So let's use your strength modifier. What would it have been? Yeah, did you have a strength modifier? Oh, 12. 12. 12? Okay, yeah, you did hit it. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Roll me a, uh, your damage for it. Okay, so that is... <coughs> Go Jen, remembering the fucking modifiers. Uh, that's a D6 ice. That's a 1. And then a D4 piercing, which is a 4. All right. Uh, when you go to take a slice at this, uh, you catch it in the, uh, like, the shoulder. Right. Uh, you notice that it. you can see blood right away from the actual piercing damage, but you're not seeing as much of, like, the, uh, like, sort of icy damage you saw before, like, where you see almost, like, frostbite creeping right. across where you cut it. Right. That does. That makes sense. Yeah. All, All right. right. So. And that goes to them. Oh shit. All right. Uh, we'll start with uh, Zuzu. What is your armor class, Zuzu? Zuzu. Zuzu. Oh, my armor class. Uh, f- seventeen. Seventeen. That's a miss. Uh. One, two, or no, odds evens to see who he's going to attack. Odds. So he's going after uh, uh, Funky Monkey. What's your armor class, Funky? Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's his. That's the other one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I got it mixed up. Okay, well, here's the problem. I, I don't know mine either. I think I'm wearing just basic leather armor, though. Uh, hold on. Would that be in here? We'll say yours is 12 plus your dex. Is plus one, so thirteen. Yeah. What's yours gonna be, uh, Brando? Is it my my health? No, it's your, your armor. armor. Your armor. What are you wearing? That cloak. Is that it? The I mean, cloak. I, I, mean, I, I think he's got a leather armor. The cloak and the coat. Like, I think he was wearing a leather armor. Like What'd you say now, Brando? Uh, he was I, was, I 
was never given any armor or anything. Yeah, I, we all equipped leather armor or chain mail at the... Yeah, I remember, I remember you guys oh, saying something about getting yeah. some just basic armor. So yeah, you'll have leather armor. You'll be so you'll be twelve plus. Isn't that what I say, Jimmy? Twelve for yeah. yours. Twelve or plus. Twelve plus your dex. Plus six. So plus two. All right. Do I want to roll something? Uh, no. I just need to know what it is. And that one missed. That would miss. You feel something take a swipe behind you as well, you funky. Oh, what? There's one behind us, guys. <laughs> Shit. All right, so to bite your butt. that's a total of three. Butt. Yeah, it's a total of three now. What's your armor class, Cash? 13. And uh, folks at home, I know this one doesn't look like a wolf, but I'm out of wolf pieces. I'm about to kick that wolf. Um, just, I'm going to ask the first thing. What's your armor class, you said? 17. 17? Natural one. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna kick it. He runs over to take a bite at you. He does latch onto you, but instinctually you flare up your fire on him. All right. And it deals a d6 of fire damage to him. So, so who gets to roll the d6? I'm just gonna say he took a full d uh, six of oh. it. Oh. DM's <laughs> discretion. <laughs> That's what you get when you I roll like one. It. Hold on, I like guys. It just so we know, I have religion as an ability, so thank you, Lord. <laughs> You're welcome. I got you. I got you. I'll thank you for you. Um, so where are we at now? Hey, my God made that happen. The wolf slipping. The wolf slipping. Brando, so, you see something coming at you from your left. Brando, I'm counting. What? This. What's your armor class? It was thirteen or fourteen. Is this the wolf? These are wolves. I just don't have any more wolf. Brando's in the back. So yeah, so this is the one that's on me. He's got one on Brando. I'm yeah. sorry, I meant for you, Jen. Oh, not you. I keep mixing those ones up. I'm sorry. That right? was the closest to the demon that you had, though. Can, I, can we get like red and paint his face? Tan and blue. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Tan and blue for now. There you go. Uh, so yeah, what was your armor class, Mr. Juice? Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, that was a hit. Six damage. Oh. oh. And he walks up to you. Uh, you don't really see him because you're paying too much attention to the other one. Mm -hmm. And this one just latches onto your arm as it runs by. <laughs> Ouch. And it has still got a hold of you, too. Now, it doesn't have, like, your meaty part. It basically cut into your hand, and it's basically holding on to your uh, clothing. Or Is this uh, still happening during his turn? This is all basically happening at once. Oh, okay. This is all happening. All this happened so far in a span of six seconds. Okay, so we're getting killed by fucking wolves. Yeah. yeah that's so, What's up? are you done then? Kind of Yeah, that, that was the wolves' turn. Oh, it is okay. now Funky Monkey's turn. Oh, it's my turn? Yes, sir. Oh. Are you, well, what are you what trying are you to do? do? Where, how many wolves are there? There's one, two, There's four wolves. Wait, wait, wait. In your position, there's one behind you. We already, we know about three. You know about four. Okay, so we all got the, okay. He only knows about right that one over there. Yeah. What was that? Before you do that, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. It's uh, to add my charisma to any damage. All right, go ahead. Now I roll eight, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not yet. Well, you got to roll to actually see if you hit first. Oh, good. Uh, what do I roll, d20? Yeah. Which one were you, were you attacking? The one that's closest to me that I can swing. If, was there one right behind me? Yeah, there's one right behind you here. I'm going to swing around and hit that one. All right. All right, just go ahead and uh, roll your attack for it. <laughs> God damn it. Y'all ain't making this easy for me, are you? No, I'm, not. I'm telling you, we're terrible rollers. All right, let's see how bad this is going to be. All right, it's not that bad. You turn around and you wildly swing, uh, but you go off balance and fall. You take no damage because of the nice soft snow below you. <laughs> However, there is like a, a nice uh, wolf breathing into your face right now. Looks like a nice snack. 
Pretty much. Okay, so then. Uh, that goes to Jim. Okay, so can I use both of the abilities that are granted to me by my circle in the same turn? What are they? Just <laughs> So, I want to use this one, for sure, because that'll give me the four temporary hit points. So that'll take me back up to nine, so I kind of want to use that for sure, um, but I also want to cast that. Or do they automatic? Or no, that would be two separate actions. Well, okay. I'll tell you what, if you don't move, I will let you. I'm not moving. Okay, I'm I will, I will let, you, I'll let you do a book. Okay, though. so then I want to use my... Symbiotic entity, all right. Uh, ability gained to me, given to me by my circle's force. Okay. And that is, uh, I'm so, hang on. I gain the ability to channel magic into my spores. As an action, I can expend the use of my wild shape. I'm not transforming into an animal. Uh, to awaken those spores rather than transforming into a beast form. And I gain four temporary hit points. Can I see the pencil again, please? So that'll take me from five to nine now. How long does that last? Because it's been 10 minutes. Okay. Or um, until I lose those four hit points or uh, until I use that wild shape again. Um, while this feature is active, I gain the following benefit. When I deal halo of spores damage, I roll the damage die a second time and add it to the total. Nice. And my melee weapon attacks deal an extra D6 poison damage. To any target they hit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you did both of those, and then did you have to roll anything to get at those, or no? Okay, they just automatic. Yes, right. those are automatic benefits on it. All right. Yeah. Uh, and that's pretty much your turn. Well, I, you said I could do the Halo of Force as well. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, you did both of those, didn't you already? Well, no, I didn't read the Halo of Force so everybody. Knows oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead and read um, that for them. I'm surrounded by invisible necrotic spores that are harmless until I unleash them on a creature nearby. When a creature uh, I can see moves into a space within 10 feet of me or starts its turn there, I can use my reaction to deal 1d4 necrotic damage to that creature unless it succeeds on a constitution saving throw against my spell save DC. The uh, and then it just says what it increases my, okay. uh, my level. All right. Are you done after that? I am done I'll after take it. You that. can't do much more. Nope. I'm, I'm good <laughs> after that. The only thing I'll allow is maybe pick your nose. That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, pick a winner. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm, can I taunt the wolf? I fought in your general direction. <laughs> no, no you understand. used all your concentration and stuff to get that done. I'm going to say no. I'm not oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know what? At least I am back at what I feel to be reasonable hit points. Seems how I only started at 11. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Do you get this back for that? That goes to Honey Badger. Go, Mr. K. Alright, I want to use the uh, ability action surge so I can use two actions. Alright. So, um, the first action is I want to um, push. No, no. First action is I want to take my battle axe and come straight down on the wolf in front of me. Not not a target, I just actually swing down on the wolf. Alright, roll the attack force. Nine. Nine, no, you didn't get it. Damn it! And then the second action is I want to push uh, Jim and Juice. Like, I know that Wolf has Lash on his arm, so I want to push him like, kind of out of the way so I can take my sword. And okay, yeah, that, that'd that be one full action. You okay. stay sleeve chop. Yeah, good. Get it off me. Uh, <laughs> Thankfully, you didn't roll a one. He might have lost his arm. Okay, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody went through four points. <laughs> All right, uh, that's your turn. That goes to Zuzu. All right, so I would like to use Magic Mirror. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, Magic Missile. Oh, okay, I was going to say Magic Mirror. What? Ooh. Is it gonna tell me I'm pretty? <laughs> no. Okay. So I I get to create um, three glowing darts of magical force. Um, I can send them whichever way I choose. Yeah, I know what magic missile is. You got okay. And I get a D four. Yeah. Just roll the damage. So. That one sucks. No. 
It's a four plus four. one, so five. All right. Uh, um, you shoot it at it. You see. Well, I wanted. I haven't declared my targets yet. So I want to have one go at the one that's staring at uh, Funky in the face. How many did you get? Three. Okay. One at the one that's closest to me, and one at the fourth one that. Where's the fourth one? Oh, she's at the one that's attached to me. There's three of them, right? Yeah. All right. So which ones are you hitting? The one right okay. in front of you. Yeah. There's the one right in front of me, and the one that's leering over top of. Okay. Funky the best would be the one right here. Got latch on the arm. Latch onto his arm, but what's the other? What's the other? Wait, one? Front of me? Wait, you didn't even realize that they're back here yet. Yeah. So you can't do that. No, no, no. I already did. You, you. I, I, I thought I already you... realized it. Yeah, because you already told you told us we all already realized. I thought I had you roll four. about it though, didn't I? Yeah, and I got. I said everybody but you though, didn't I? Uh, I don't believe so. I believe you said I didn't. No, I, can't I don't know on that one. Um. Uh, he has those two well, I'll, here, let me roll a perception real quick. Yeah, so roll another perception. I'll let you do that each turn of the free 19. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, now you know it. So. <laughs> and then one at the one that's behind everybody else. That's, so this one, this one, one, and this one. Not the one attached, the one that's back behind, so this that one? way it's distracted. So this one, yeah. this one, and this one then. Yep, so that right. way he can get up and do some stuff. Uh, you already rolled five, you yeah. said, right? Yeah. So... I want to make sure it stays in your bubble so it gets the damage and everything. Oh, oh that's Come genius. on, dude. That's genius. But it hurts. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. And if you would have hit it right, it would have landed right in my bubble anyways, just at my feet. And finally, that would have killed it. Right, but, you know, I'm not taking any chances. But it's here. definitely gone. What do I have to, what was it going to have to be? It's going to be 2d4. I would be damaged. <laughs> All right, so here's the way this played out. Uh, Zuzu <laughs> casts his magic missile, and you see, basically for you, it seems like one just goes straight, two just go off in either direction, and you hear just a yelp at the, on either side of you. Brandon. Awesome. Uh, yeah, Brandon. Yeah. Well, I was making sure you're still there because I said I missed a call from you. Oh. No, I'm right here. All right, Brando, while this is happening, uh, you're laying on the ground, you see, like, a dazzling light hit this wolf, and uh, the wolf kind of falls on its side. Dude, what is it? He's saving us. It's a jetty. Uh, and yeah, you, uh, I think that was a good move to take. Cash, uh, you guys see the same thing, just a little blur of, like, glittery white just go past you as it hits uh, the wolf behind you. Of course, of course. Yeah, Which was probably getting ready to pounce. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah, no, I got you, but this one that's attached. Yeah, but that one is under control. With the one in front of you, the other three weren't. No. The one in front of you, uh, Zuzu. Yeah. When you hit it, it goes down and it doesn't come back up. <laughs> got me a kill shot. It's gotta be worth extra. Oh, that means yours will kill shot. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, okay, so just yeah, think, that was the play out of your magic missile. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. just think, you know, Tony Stark pop up. The missiles pop out. Or from the Mandalorian, the mm -hmm. uh, whirly birds or whatever. Yeah, that is kind of like those, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, whistling birds. Whistling birds, that's right, yeah. Birds. All right, so you're Whirly turn. Birds. Sorry, yeah. don't sue us, Disney. That's on me, then it's now the, it's the, the dog. Yeah, it's the wolves now. All right, so they need to make a constitution saving throw. The one's attached to me. Uh, the other two, I believe, yeah, it says it's 10 feet, right? Uh, it is 10 feet. This one is within, this one is not. Okay. And, and both the of these ones are. Two. So there's two of them that have to make constitution saves. Three of them. This one here, this one here, and this one here that's attached to you. All right. Um, it's against my spell save DC, which is what? It should be 10 plus your spell level plus your wisdom as a druid. Uh, my your wisdom, wisdom modifier, I'm sorry. It's going to be plus one, so 11, and what's the other modifier? Uh, what did I say? Then the spell level. So it's a level one spell. Yeah, I guess technically. Or is it one of your special it's abilities? It's one of my abilities from my circle. Okay, we'll just count that as a one. I have to read more. I can't remember what the rules okay. are for that. Uh, so that would be, what did I say, one and one? Yup. So 12? Yup. That one failed. 
Which one? Will... Uh, we'll, I'll start from here and go this way. You want me to do damage first? Yeah, go ahead and do damage for that one. Okay. So one, and then that's another one because of my symbolic entity. So two damage to that one? Hold on. Four damage to that one. In all or in addition to what you just did? No, it no. was one plus three. Yep. Okay. All right, and the one that is connected to you, it did save. No. And the one next to that one did not save. The fuck? Did roll. not save. Roll it. No, I, I know, but the one that's attached to me did. <laughs> the one I wanted didn't. Uh, three. And four. 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 So five total. Five total. Yeah, he goes down. You just, uh, I don't know, how, how did the spores say they work? Is it like an acid sort of feel, or is it... I like, mean, like, the description of the circle itself is necrotic. Okay. So so basically, uh, this wolf, after taking the damage, you see it just, where it was, like, pristine yeah, white uh, fur, and you can see it looks like it starts to rot a little bit, stuff like that, and it kind of just falls down. Oh, 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 oh. So are we down... Are we down three now? Uh, two wolves. Two, two, two wolves. Two dead. Two dead. Uh, okay, so, so the wolf, I killed one, he killed one. Yep. And we still got two to go. No, three to go. There's five total. Five total? Five total. I thought there were four total. No, there's five total. He's got five. Oh, that's, that's right, because dead. that one snuck back up on him. Yep. All right. So that goes to their turn now that you've done that damage, right? Uh, yeah, it goes to the, because that's the beginning of their turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, question. Yes. If I decided to turn into one, would that be plausible? Have I like been with them long enough for me? Yes. Yeah, then you just have to have seen one. Before, well, encountered so. or studied is the way it's worded. Uh these yes, because I'll say that you've already seen actual wolves, and these are just a variation of it. Okay. So yeah, basically, you just basically have to have the white. Hey, you set the world. I don't know what the fuck I've seen. I just trust my lord. <laughs> True enough. Uh, I'll say you've seen wolves, but I'll say it. I love the fact that I have religion as a thing because I will straight play that to the end of this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to pray to the gods that <laughs> this will let go even though it's not my turn. And this one's going to try to do the thing where dogs do where it kind of like jerks your arm back and forth. Oh, fuck, don't do that. Awesome. Don't do four damage. Don't do four damage. Uh, what was your armor class again? 13. Yeah, it, it did get you. Mm. How many times can I use that magic missile spell? Uh, how many times a day can you... It's a level 1 spell, right? Yeah. How many level 1 spells do you get a day? I don't know. How do we know that? Uh, it should have said in the... Is that, that like the spell slot that you have? Yeah, the spell slot. So you have 3. Yeah. 4 damage. Fuck! Spell slot. There goes our thought shit. Well, because it just got rid of all my temporary hit points that I gained from that. Right, but then does that stuff go away? No, the uh, halo of spore stays there, but uh, it only deals 1d4 damage now. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, that one's dead. This one's going to move over towards Mr. Cash West. And what was your armor class, Cash? It was 17 or was it 18? 17. 17? Oh, no, no, Oh, it completely missed. Thanks. Oh, cool. It runs Efficiency up to try and chomp on you. And it tries to take a snap at your legs. You move it back in time. Uh, and it kind of like slips there in the ice. Setting you up for a perfect attack once you uh, turn comes around. Uh, you are not up yet, uh, Mr. Funky Monkey. So this one uh, is going to try and take a chomp on you while you're down. Can I stress stab at it? Not yet, you already had your turn, and you have failed it. You fumbled. With. Well. The wolf tries to take a bite of you, misses your face, gets a mouthful of snow, and then slips in the ice. I don't know. Because he rolled a 1 2. The wolf rolled a 1 2. So now both these guys are. He's probably still kind of dazed from my pin missile. Can I use my V speech on this fucker? Uh, you can try. Uh, where's my book at? 
right. clubs, daggers, darts, javelins, mace, quarterstaff. Uh, I'm not sure what that word is. Uh, Zuzu? Sickles, slings, and spears. Hold on, I'm looking it up. What's yeah. up? My turn? Hey, he's looking something up for me real quick. I just need the book. Oh, you need the book? Um, no, I'm pretty it sure it's good. Beast Bond that he has. Yeah. No, it's Beast Speech. That's what it says on the website. It's under Eldritch Invocations. Alright. Now I'm looking it up. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, nope, right there it is. Did you find it? Yep. Alright, what's it say? Oh. Um. You can speak at animals with. You can cast speak with animals at will without expanding a spell slot. Oh, so basically it just lets him talk with animals. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it's affecting you, you don't really have to roll for it. Uh, you just have to... We'd have to role play how we're going to talk through this, though, basically. Yeah. I'm going to just ch chill the fuck out, bro. Just chill. Just relax. It gets a weird look on its face. It says food. No, no, food. No, dude, we ain't got food. We're going to get out of here. We don't have anything. We don't have food. You are food. <laughs> We kill food. Okay, so we're gonna kill these fuckers. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's talking to it. Yeah, he's able to communicate so, with it. Because we're in a role play scenario, can I tell him what to say to you? You don't really know what the. Uh, Is this all telling you? Don't know that he's like if you knew that he was uh, doing it, I would say you probably could. But he. How do I not know he's doing it? Because he didn't say he was doing. He's it. doing it telepathically. Uh, I mean, you pretty much knew that already when you got the intelligence check earlier. You knew they were hunting. Yeah. This doesn't seem like a lot place with a lot of prey. Hold uh, on, hold on, hold on. Tell them to take the dead bodies of their, the ones that we've killed and eat them. No. They're not cannibals. They don't know that. We don't know that. They're a pack. They're hungry. All right, that's your turn. You ask those questions. Damn it, I hate you. That goes to <laughs> me. Gingers? Okay, so I've still got this wolf attached to me, correct? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to take my sword and just like... Ah. All right. Uh, roll me an attack. You get plus four to attack since he's actually attached to you. Thirteen. You hit. Roll me damage. All right. So because it's my sword, what was my sword? What was my sword? What was my sword? Is what's a sword's damage? Was it a short sword? Yeah. D6. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it's three for the standard, and then I get a D6 of fire as well. And there's going to be one on that. So how much in all? Uh, Four. Four? Yep, and all one right. is in fire. What was that? No, four total, but one of which was yeah. in fire damage. Yeah, you go to take your swing at it. Uh, you hit it right in the uh, middle of its stomach. And you see, at first, you see a burst of flames on it as you're cutting into it. And you can kind of see uh, the wound cauterizing as you cut into it. Nice. Um, and as you're cutting into it, you can just kind of feel the body go limp as you do. And I cast a spell, even though I attacked, or is that the same style of action? I'm not going to let you do that because it's usually it's just a move and an action. I let you do the other one because they're kind of okay. similar. Okay. No, that's, well, I, no, that's what I was questioning. If it yeah. was the same style of action, so it is. Okay. Um, so I haven't moved yet. So is the one that was attached to me, is it done? Yeah. You felt it go limp. Okay. It's Now its teeth are still kind of locked in you. I mean, it won't take much to knock it off, but it is kind of like attached. Um, all right, well, wolves, I want to grab them uh, and put them in my pocket, for one. You're going to grab the wolf and put it in your no, pocket? No, I'm going to grab the teeth off my arm. I'm not going to swipe them away. I'm going to grab them and put them in my pocket. It's like, I, I think you misunderstand me. The wolf is still attached, not oh, just the, the teeth. Wolf? Oh, the wolf? Yeah. He's like, it's like a dead body sort of on you, kind of like, uh, lo, uh, what oh, do you call that? Where well, they I'm just going to pull it apart still? and yeah. like, rip its bottom jaw off and put the top of it on as a hat. All right. Uh, Fuck this, bitch. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's what you want to do. Does that count as my movement? 
Because I still move. All I did was attack. Mm. But that's your I wouldn't say that would be a... Mm, that's hard to say because you're not actually attacking anything. Cause it's I, dead. I attack because I already... Well, that would... I guess so that would I'm be... Ask, I'm asking if that would be my movement action if I did that. Because the wolf's still attached to me. All right. Technically, I'm just... You use I'm up, re- uh, altering what is already Here's, here's on what my we're going to do. Uh, I'm not moving. Because the wolf is still attached to you, that takes your move equivalent action to get it off your arm, detached, and off. If you want to, I'll let you rip its head off next turn if you want to. I just, no, I just want to rip its bottom jaw off. I want to, like, add, I want to use my forearm and just grab it from its mouth, the top of its mouth, and rip up so its bottom jaw comes off, and then I just want to put it on its back. I'm going to say no Leverage. since you already attacked. It's not an attack. You attacked last time when you hit him with the... But that's not... Te- no. It's, a, okay, it's not so an attack. Okay. You I'll... still got to do a strength check of some kind, so okay. I'm counting that as an attack. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so I just want to at least remove it from my body and prepare it for dismemberment. Yeah. You say prepare that thing for dismemberment, we're fighting for our lives. <laughs> I got a new hat. What do you got? My neck's going to stay warm. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that goes to Honey Badger. If I touch Badger's head, will I get burned? The flames from it? It depends on if he lets you or not. Right, so so we could use that to cook, hypothetically. He, he ba- it's kind of like straining a muscle for him to get it to go really hot. He'd have to go like... It'd be like kind of like squinting your face really okay. hard for a while. I gotcha. I eventually, gotcha. I mean, you could do it for a while, but eventually it'd be like, you just, it'd just be stiff. He's, he's not eating enough fiber. <laughs> that would call it. Yeah. Here's some charcoal. Have that fiber. Okay. So, back to you, Mr. Ma'am. I Mr. Cash. Mr. Cash. I know. You have the one room. next to you, honey, and you saw one uh, standing over uh, the Funky slide. Monkey in the back, but you see them both fall like on the ground falling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're both on the ground. <laughs> there is not one around. What? Just at the top of the steps. Well, that's <laughs> technically a handle. What are you talking yeah, about? There it is. So I can attack the one on the ground or the one in front of me? Yes, if to get to the one on the ground over here, you'd have to take a small move well, action. Fine. But you said I'm set up for the one in front of me from what you yep. did last time. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to try to stab it with my sword. All right, go for it. Stab or slash. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I'm giving you a... You got 21. Uh, well, you didn't actually need it, but you would have actually had an extra plus five because I said you set it up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you got it. Uh, roll me damage. D6. Uh, what were you if using? Your, yeah, your D6, D6, yeah. if it's your sword, D6. Five. Five. Nice. Well, you have, is that with your strength modifier? Uh, nine. Nine? Okay, yeah. Mm. Dead wolf. Yep. It's dead. You go to take a swing at it with your wo- or with your sword, and you cut through both its front legs, and it just kind of falls to the ground, and it starts to bleed out. Ah. There's one more wolf left, and it is Zuzu's turn. How far away from me is it? 20 feet. 20 feet? Uh, How far can I move in a movement with an attack? 30 feet. Alright, so I move into attack range uh, close enough to uh, swipe at it with my uh, sword. Alright. So, a d20, right? Yep. Uh, 18. You hit it. Roll damage. Uh, D6 for sword. A 5 plus 2 for the multiplier. 7. 7? Alright. You run up to it. Uh, for whatever reason, you didn't really see what happened, but you see this wolf like on the ground looking like it's getting up. You see uh, Funky Monkey on the ground looking like it's getting up, looking like they haven't hit each other at all. Uh, you walk over to the wolf, and you take your sword... You do that kind of cool thing where you have it, and then you kind of flip it upside down and stab it into the wolf's <laughs> stomach. Let's out a huge uh, whelp, and then it just tumbles balls out, and it's dead. Two kills for me. All right, so, so we're out of wolves for me, and I killed one for making it rot. So wait, no, are we out of wolves? Yeah, wolves are dead. Are they? Yep. Swaggy ass wolves. Don't listen to that. Oh, uh, cool. Do we get any XP for that? 
Yeah, you each get uh, 100 XP for it. Oh, shit. Any bonus for killing wolves? <laughs> no, I tried. So, how much is it to level from 2 to 3? I'm not for certain, but since you just leveled, you got a while. Oh, you said 600. Was it 600? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So what, it's 3 and 6 then? 12. 3, 6, 12. Um, completely plausible. Um, guys, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, a couple people have to use the bathroom, so we will be right back. To be continued. I, I guess, guess you need a little background.
Yeah. And we're bad guys, and Cash isn't paying attention. And Sully tuned us back over like five minutes ago. I missed the We weren't really on that long. We weren't. No, but anyways, we took the uh, yeah, we had the short little break. We're going to count it. So while while we all took a break, the characters took a break too. Uh, some of the people that have, were missing hit points now got a chance to heal. I'm back to full health. Reset Yay! The spell. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> ready. Ready. Catch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's right there. Oh, okay. Okay. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys rest. You, uh, I believe Zuzu was skinning one of them. Yeah, I, well, during the rest, I took the skin off all four. All right, uh, we're gonna try and roll for that since you've never really skinned before. Okay. So, so roll D20. me. So you have to roll a d20 per skin. Yes, for each one. Okay. okay. And uh, I have gonna, a... I'm gonna do your d20, and you can either use your dexterity or intelligence. Well, let's see. Let's go. Let's go intelligence because it hits more. All right. Oh, and I and I yeah, I get a plus one for my ring too, so I get a plus four. Plus intelligence. One. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I gotta remember that. And then so let's go. Eight plus four. Twelve. But I also get a proficiency with the dagger, right? Not in that way, because it's a regular dagger, you're trying to use it for... Okay. It's worth a try. Right. So Valiant effort, my friend. Valiant effort. You know, we're well, trying to try ballsy with what we do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the kind of DM I usually allow it, and so, but sometimes I do But roll. I mean, so what would I roll for that? Uh, roll your d20 plus, okay. like I said, your dex modifier or your intelligence. So that's a 12 plus okay. 4. So that's a 16. 16? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you get the skin off. Uh, you don't know how much you'll be able to get out of it or anything like that, if that's what you're looking to do. I... Right, but, but it's like, it's different than the wolves we have, right? Yeah, it's just pure white. The, okay. uh, the so, fur is. Uh, so, yeah, so I gotta do that again. Does it get any easier on uh, 17 the for the second one? Right, Se yeah. yeah, you got the second one. Um, uh, not so with it being as new to him as it is. Right. Okay. Like if he'd done like ten or fifteen, I'd say. But after only doing how many were you doing? That's that's the four. second Just one. Two. How many were you planning yeah. to do? All four of them. Or, four of the yeah. five. Because I'm ripping the one and turning it into yeah. a hat. Uh, I did. Well, that one you won't be able to use, and the one that his spores took away, oh, it oh, ate yeah. away, necrotized okay, like the yeah, first so stuff. Just the ones that are worth. So you got three. So three. Okay. So then I don't have to do you got You got the first two, you got the third one, you got to uh, roll four. Uh, seven plus four is 11. 11, and then roll again for the proficiency. Uh, no, you don't. You should have just been rolling once for each uh, wolf. Right. Oh, I thought you let me use the proficiency for the dagger. No, you don't have oh, the proficiency. Okay. Not with that. You have it to fight with it, okay. but not to like what you were trying to utilize it for. Okay, okay. So, yeah. So uh, The last one you got 11 on, right? Yeah. The first two you got pretty good. The last one uh, you got a little more blood on the white fur, so you can kind of kind of see that mixing in with it. So it's not going to be like a pristine pelt. Right. Okay. Yeah, but I just built up my plus one red. No, it's naturally colored my shit. <laughs> got you. Who cares next? I can clearly see where the drop came down here. Ooh, nope, that's I... natural marking. <laughs> Ash. Yeah. All right. Uh, what was everybody else doing? I turn. Yeah, this is what we were doing on our break. Yeah, I turned one that was attached to me yeah. after I was ready. It's it's heavier now. All right. So does that give me any kind of a plus as no. far as armor for that? No. No. Damn you, Wolf! I still let you <laughs> cry. You now have like blood trickling down your face and stuff like that. <laughs> he's, uh, he's now he's now Cuba. A very, <laughs> he's now a demonic keyboard with blood coming down his face. Awesome. Even better. That'd actually be a pretty badass <laughs> Pokemon. I'd play that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, like, the gross on type. Get on that, uh, uh, Nintendo. Gross type. <laughs> I put it on so, like, my horns actually go through his eyes. Through the eyes. <laughs> back. That's good. That would be kind of uh, cool. Wait, how were your, 
my horns come back like with my hair, but they come up about yay off my head. Oh, I thought they were like really wide ones that like basically took up your hair. No, okay, no, I pictured no. it completely differently in my head. No, no, no. <laughs> no, they're, they're circular. Okay. And then they're just like. Like they just follow the curvature pipes. of your head, basically. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like my hair, and then in the back, all right. they, they, they all the hair they come up far enough, far enough to go into a little sidewall. Yep. Yeah. Fair awesome. enough. Well, I guess you could have screwed them into it. All right, Cash, were you doing anything? No. All right, Brando, what were you doing? You doing anything? I'm picking my teeth. All right, uh, Brando and Cash, give me perception checks. Yep. Plus your proficiency or whatever. Yeah. That's a little bit whether. It should be your uh, yeah, wisdom proficiency if you have it. So I got 20. Alright. Would you say you got cash? 19. 19? Uh, yeah, you both got it. While they're sitting there hacking these animals apart for fur and uh, souvenirs and everything else. Souvenirs. You guys hear something moving through the snow towards you. The abominable snowman. I hope they know they pack of wolves. <laughs> no, no, no. The last one, bitches. Here, I'll take it. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You hear coming from the basically the same direction that you guys saw the mountain coming uh, from. You guys can hear something trudging through the snow. Well, they can. Uh, Cash and Brando can. You two are too busy. They call them wolf carcasses. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me and my wolf hat. All right. So what are we? What, what's next, guys? Brando. What are, you are they gonna let them know? What are you doing? Right, I guess, guess we're. Well, we, we don't, don't know about it yet, so somebody's got to warn us about yeah. it. Yeah. Hey guys, there's something over there. Over oh, where? Now we all know. Is it over oh, there or under there? Under where? I can't remember Bunch of kids. Commando. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> that was a good movie. Yeah, it was. Mm. All right, so anyway, anyways, you guys are fucking with this. Uh, I'm sorry, Brando, you're up. <laughs> and it's in the same direction that you saw uh, or the uh, mountain when you guys first poured it in, and it's in this direction here. Do you see on the camera? No, he's not on that way. Oh, okay. Uh, Turn on the screen. Turn on the stream, you lazy bastard. Alright, guys, there's something towards the castle. There's something that way, guys. Okay. Hey, guys. okay. okay. There's something over here. So he's notified him. So we know. Uh, he starts walking over here. Did he, do you tell them, or you just, you yeah, just say, hey, guys, guys, and then he started walking to the Alright. Uh, what are you guys doing? Are you guys going to continue fucking with your wolves? No, no well, well, I was already done. done. But you can't. What are you going to do? I already seen another too, so I'm heading that way. Alright. You head about that way, about 10, 15 feet. You guys start hearing a, like, a, like a growling. Fuck that shit, the honey badger. Right. Honey badger right In fact, uh. Alright, All right. they're about. Gin and Juice, give me a perception on. check. Jesus. About five feet behind them, them too. Bad. Actually, no, not a, not a perception and intelligence, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That might be better modified. Yeah. But it doesn't fucking matter. Six. Okay, you didn't realize shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, continuing. Going down the street, smoking. <laughs> 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 Alright, you guys are still in the same direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so you got right, so you, uh, you don't you can't tell what it was by the growl. That's what I was trying to get you to see because you're a druid, you might be able to tell what kind of animal it is. But no, all you hear is uh, uh, just a growling, and it's getting closer. All right, well, I look around to see where it's coming from. 
Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, seven. seven. No, you don't see shit. Damn. Ah! Here, it's my window. And that's why we get nowhere fast. <laughs> at this point, uh... Alright, where's, where's everybody at right now? Were you all bunched together more? Were you pretty yeah, much... Yeah, yeah, we're all like... You guys didn't like walk away from the walls. Two and two. And they go marching in by two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. hurrah. Also, we will miss you really close up. All right, so what's up? Uh, you guys still hear the sound? You guys notice it was right in front of you, but you guys, it's growling. It, you kind of hear it passing off to your left and moving kind of behind you. Uh, give me a... Well, you don't really know that uh, at this point. You just hear it going to your left and towards the back uh, back behind you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys going to follow towards it, or...? I am not. I do not. It's going away. Uh, it's going away. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, gonna it's, 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 it sounds like it's getting a little uh, like less louder. Yeah, yeah, it's going away. I'm not. Yeah, yeah all right. Not cool. We're, We're continuing, continuing towards the mountain. mountain. I, I, don't, I don't need anything to do with anything that's going away from us. So. It's it could have been a big fucking burly thing. That we it sounded like it was pretty big. Correct. Yeah. And the first thing I've done is in my psychotic energy. I'm, we are <laughs> venom. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many times is that a spell? Or does that take up one of your spell slots? So, so since we're level one. Uh, we only have level one spells. We only get one spell, and then we have to rest. And then when we hit two, we get two spell slots. Yeah. Yes. We get an extra level one, and then we get two level two. So that's how I get it. I don't know about you. All right. So you guys are heading towards the mountainous area now, right? Yeah, we're heading towards the mountain. All right. Yes. You guys walk for about an hour, and you actually get close to where, enough to it where you can actually start seeing the very base of it. And you can see in the distance, uh, it looks like a large opening. It looks like it has some kind of door or like gate in front of it. And uh, you can see like two big brazers on either side of it just lit and on fire. I'd say we approach it. All right, you guys walk up to it. Uh, you don't see anybody around. It's just a big, huge door. It looks like what you saw thought was a gate is actually a portcullis. Uh, it's one of those ones that uh, raised from the top. Right. Um, so, so when, when you said we called for the, the cover story, say our ship crashed and we traveled here from the shore, yeah, and this is the first. <laughs> this is the first bit of civilization we found. Um, yeah. Are you good with that? That sounds right. All right, so I knock on the door then. There's no answer. I push, I push the door. I told you before, it's one of those ones that raise up. Okay. So, so you push on it and nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> um, I ask, I ask our brute if he can lift the door. Yeah. All right. Me? Yeah. You're the brute. All right, walk up to it and uh, do a strength check. See if you can. So you got ten and all? Yeah. You did not get it. Oh, I'm tired. So, so how, how about the we walk on the way? How about <laughs> how about all of us try it? You can try that. Everybody roll me a uh, strength check. Ooh, I feel much stronger now. <laughs> Fourteen. Nice. <laughs> <Fourteen. laughs> Thirteen. What'd you get, Jim? Plus, Plus your strength modifier. Yeah, I got that thirteen. Thirteen? No, I guess still got another. Four. Four. I got fifteen. And what'd you get, uh, Brando? Five. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, you were all kind of pulling up on this. Oh, we are here. Yeah. 
It's not you individually going up one at a time. Hey. Nope, didn't work. Next guy. Hey, Jeremy, this is Jeremy. 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 Hey, Jeremy, this
I said I wasn't like a fake dick in the locker room. All I'm saying is I said we I wasn't strolling this bitch alone and I somehow my wrong. I can't do this by myself. I need you. Uh, oh shit, I should have prayed for like please let me be able to read Jesus. <laughs> Dude, that's I'm gonna start praying before everything. Go tell them now. Please, oh great. Okay. Alright, so you guys got this big uh, port codes open now. Uh, you uh, you walk through and it, you see a long hallway that leads further into the mountain basically and you don't see the end just yet. After about 10 minutes of walking, you guys come to basically like a split. You see a pair of stairs going up and a pair of stairs going down. Let's go down. Um... Can I look around and see if I see any rats other than Jen? No. I'm not a rat. I I so I can't look around and see. You don't see, like, any animals okay. at all. All you've seen so far is just, like, these ice-covered walls and ground and stuff. I, I, yeah, I just, as far as me, I, see, I just want to kind of look that. around and see what else is that I have to go down. Uh, okay, the only so other thing you really notice is... be light coming in from the outside. I would say, the only other thing all you right. notice is you see some uh, torches... On the walls that are light every once in a while. Okay, I don't need to okay so um, nobody grab a torch. Me and Cash, me and Cash will go up. You and um, Funky go down. I say we play rock paper scissors for this. Oh, how about, okay, we'll roll. We'll roll D six right. odds. Th- highs go, lows. Highs one team, lows the D6. other. Yeah. D six. Okay. Highs one team, lows the other. Four, two, two. Four. So the fours go together. Upstairs, Brando, and him going downstairs. Okay, uh, I just gotta fight people. Ah. Remember, I've got devil's sight, so I can see 120 feet in the dark. So we gra- okay, me and him both grab a torch. All right, so let's go with the people that are going upstairs first. Who's Yay. doing that? Just Cash and Zuzu. All right, Cash, Zuzu, you guys go upstairs. Uh, you guys go up uh, uh, about five flights of stairs until you come to an actual landing. Uh, you come to what looks like a hallway. You can see doors on either side of it, several sets. Um, I'll start up in the one to the left. You start up in the one to the right. All right. Back here. All right. So yeah. So they're. So the doors, we're going down the hallway. The doors are Looking facing the each other in the hallway, correct? Yes. So it basically, okay, yes. With so the yes. exception of one, there's one at the very end of the hallway. Okay. Oh, so, no, that's the main door we want to check first. I know, but what if there's something good in these other doors? Yeah, I mean, you don't want to alert anybody. Yeah. All right, uh, as you count the doors, you see that there is three doors on one side and two doors on the other with the one, like, basically straight ahead at the end of the hall. That's the, ba- that's so the main chamber. Fun. So five total. Are you sure? So you want to rush those doors? Three one side, two one, one other, and all the doors. Okay. Total. Okay. So we head to the very far door and but knock. Know that. You go to the very far door and knock. That's yeah. yeah. That's what he wants Why to do. That's what he wants to do. Why are you? Knocking? I want to knock because it's cordial. This is Sparta, bitch. When I hear the fucking. Knock when you got in. Oh, yeah. I just want to fight have, people, but I won't kick a door in. They could have an army. We're knocking. They have an army. Why would you knock? I'm saying like, right. no, you know what I'm saying? Like, that does bar take away some pressure. Fair enough. I've only got All right, so you guys walk up to the door. <laughs> Williams, is that you with my tea? Oh, About damn time. Mm, no, we're going to, we're going <laughs> to, yeah, let's, let's open Well, let's take you. Wait Come on second. in. Let's, let's use our, <laughs> let's use our cover story. Okay. Our ship broke down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you so. hear footsteps walking toward the door. What the hell's taking you so long here? The door opens. <laughs> Who the bloody hell are you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, He's got I introduced Sorry, us. I'm looking for different stuff to differentiate the characters. <laughs> I, uh, I introduced myself and Honey Badger. Don't use your the hell are you doing here? Mm-hmm. And where the hell, Williams? Where the hell are you? How the hell did they get in here? We, uh, 
Yeah, we got lost and the door was open. Doors <laughs> open. We come across <laughs> our, our, ship our ship crashed, our ship crashed ashore, and we hiked here, and this is our first bit of civilization we found. The door was open. What, what, the what'd, you say, what'd you say again? Sorry. I... Okay, so we're telling the guy that we crashed ashore and we walked there, and this is the first bit of civilization. And we come across the half ocean. So you gate. traveled two hundred miles from the ocean. Yes, sir. Surviving on wolf meat. <laughs> no, I see my whole meat wearing one of the heads. <laughs> Williams. Um, sir, please calm down. We're gonna need you to calm down, sir. We're we're just trying to figure some shit out. He tries to push past you to go start. He starts yelling for Williams Kill going down the hall. Okay. What? Kill the Brit. No, 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 no. Kill no. You see him go to the uh, first door that was near the stairs that you guys went to that was on the left. Uh, he opens the door. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for Kringle. That's <laughs> what so we should have done. We should have kicked the damn door. Oops. 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 We should have kicked the door down. And said, "Where's Kringle?" Well, I don't know why you didn't turn when he pushed past you guys. Listen. It's not, we're not going to find it in the first place we land upon. Well, not, duh. But still, information is information, but go ahead. We're just trying to get warm. I'm sorry, I'm ranting. I'd say you know that this place has Kringle in it somewhere. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. remember when Not, uh, not So Big uh, uh, sent you through here? He said, we know it's somewhere it's so here, big. but we can't get past the barrier. Look, now yeah, you're on the short sure path, Joe. It's, <laughs> this place. it's somewhere here, but not specifically in this castle. No, this is the only, the only bit of civilization. For... All right. Anyway, we chase him down behind him and to the door. No, 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 no. He was telling us what happens. He goes into oh, the door immediately to the left. Uh, well, you guys can react, and I, uh, I'll tell you what happens, and you guys can react. He pushed past you guys to go towards the last, or the door closest to the stairs. He opens it. Are you guys following him the entire way? Or yeah, are you like, yeah. Like three, three, four feet behind him the whole way. He opens it. You see another guy like sleeping in a chair there. When he opens up and he, uh, he yells, Williams! As loud as he possibly fucking can. You see the guy kind of start up. He said, We've got intruders! Get the guns! I knew it. Get the guns. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strike down Williams. No, no, no. We need to follow Williams to the armory. No, we can just get it out of the other guy if we have to. We don't want to let that guy get there and shoot us. No, but as long as we're right, close right, to right, it. He's, he's got a magic missile with his name on it. If he takes up a gun, <laughs> he's got to, bro. As long as I'm right, within 120 feet. Well, then I don't want to fucking tell them they oh, shouldn't do that. No that wouldn't be in their best interest. That wouldn't be in your best interest to do that. Please, I'll please, take please hear us out. He's listening. Oh, he's you listening. got you got his oh. attention for a okay. second. So, okay, so, not, so we hey, while we have his attention, I would like to use my charm person. So let me. Are they gonna fucking bribe him? I had their attention. I know you have them. 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 Now I'm going to charm them. Yeah. <laughs> now he's gonna make them like him. So that maybe he's, he's like, like a beast. Under spell. I mean, he is. But well, that's <laughs> he's, he's enticing them to right. like him through magic. <laughs> What is it, charm people? Charm, it, yeah, charm people. Charm. It's my damn spell slot that I'm using. Right. Uh, it must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it, which you're not. Right. If it fails the saving throw, it is charmed by you until the spell ends or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. Oh. The charmed creature regards you as friendly when the spell... Is the creature knows it was charmed by you. See? We don't want them to know it is. Right, but by the time it ends, we're already done knocking out. Not necessarily. Well, we're trying to charm him into giving us what we need. Yeah. Okay. This dude seems like he runs shit. Okay. Maybe. You're smart. So. He'd be a glorified fucking butler in the head of the other butlers. <laughs> yeah, but still. Right. It's a butler something. Have a butler. It's not we a butler, has a butler. Like, he's in charge of the butlers and. And tells them, I don't know. Like he's <laughs> I he's bundle Mr. the butler. Ever heard of a head butler? Look, he's Mr. Belvedere, and everybody else is <laughs> okay, so listening to him. Okay, so a deck, I guess a the deck. The only butler's above Belvedere. Who throws that? 
It's freaking Alfred. <laughs> Who throws the deck saving throw? Would that be you? What's that? The saving throw. Would that be yeah. you? Yeah, I'd do the saving throw. Okay. So it's a what wisdom the, saving throw. Wisdom? Yep. What do I got to roll with? Uh, my, do you need my... It's a 13 plus one. The uh, modifier is one. So 14? Yeah. Well... Damn it. No, he's completely on your... He rolled a one. Awesome. Uh, He's so I start grilling them for any and all information about now, this place. Now, this, this was just the first guy. Which one did you get first? I, the, the head command? guy. Okay. He's like, he's kind of squints at you for a second. Jacob, is that you? I haven't seen you in ages. Awesome. Okay, he comes so over and gives you a hug. Awesome. I, re I return the hug. <laughs> Return the hug. <laughs> nice. What are you doing, Cash? I'm just staring at all. What about the other guy? <laughs> oh, I probably would too. <laughs> what about the other guy? The other guy's just like kind of staring at all. He's basically looking just like Cash. Like I mean, like, well, how else would you react to that? Like, dude's about to tell him. But was that? You. Oh, I don't know, dude. I want to ask the other guy if there's any beer because apparently these guys are friends. So everything's cool, right? So with both of them in range, would it affect both of those guys? No, it does not affect both of Just them. Just the one. You'd have to roll, do it a whole yeah, uh, spell cool again to get the other guy. Okay. Okay, so I couldn't do that because I went sure like, oh. one spell spell. All right, so I um, so I guess I talked to this guy and I tried to get him to uh, tell the other guy never mind, and we go talk in his office or in his room. As you're talking, saying these things, he's kind of backing up a little bit. Towards the uh, wall behind him. Uh, give me a perception check. Oh man, can I do that too? Yeah, you can uh, get a perception check too. Five. Five. And he got a three. Did you hear me, Cash? You, I got a five and he got a three. Okay, neither of you know. Uh, so what are you saying to him? I'm trying to get him to go back and talk in his room. You, this is the room that you guys are in. Okay. Okay, so he's still in... Yeah, he's still in the room. He's so backing we, up at the wall back behind that. So he's still in the other guy's room. No, the the commander came to that guy's room. Right. Or office, whatever you no, want to no, call it. No, no, because the guy we, that was yelling for him went to that guy's room. Right? Yeah. So are we still in... You're in Watson, or was it... Yeah, Williams. Yeah, we should, Williams' room, or... Yeah. You're, okay, not, you're not the commander's room. The commander went to Williams' yeah. room. You're in Williams' room. I'm trying room. to get the commander. commander. I'm trying to get the commander to go back. You're trying to get the command. Yeah, yeah, he'll go right with you. He's friends okay. with you now. So we go. Well, back yeah, let's go have ourselves a drink. It's been too long. And this guy's loving it. So why? So while we're drinking, I guess I ask him questions about the layout and what goes on around. Uh, you see the guy that the other guy Williams. You he, he knows something up is up. You see him backing up towards the wall, and you see him start to reach for something. This is where you come in. Kill him now. Magic missile. <laughs> Firewall. Oh, wait. I don't know which one. Oh. Um, okay, so... Now, would... So, if I, harm, if I harm the other guy, and that wouldn't back. break the spell from the... One I have the spell on. Well, you're get, take, uh, didn't you say you're taking the commander back to his office? Yes. Yeah, you're already on your way back to his office. The okay. other guy's uh, oh, okay, so still in his room. I don't notice him doing it then. You did, but you can run back and stop him, though. The other guy uh, isn't going to notice. He's continuing walking. Okay. So if I... Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's the con uh, cantrip. So can I use the Ray of Frost to stop his hand? Yeah, you can try. All right, I try to freeze. I try to freeze his hand to the wall before right. he you pulls cast the spell. Give me a range touch attack. It'll be uh, d twenty plus your proficiency bonus plus your dex modifier. So 12, 14, 17. Yeah, you're able to get it. Uh, he's reaching for something. What exactly are you doing? Because you don't see what he's reaching for. You just see no, him reaching towards. I see his hand moving towards something. So I freeze it up towards the wall. When I hit it with the ray, it freezes up towards the wall that he's reaching to. All right. All right, you got, it's frozen to the wall at this point. Um, and then 
where are you at while this is happening? I'm just staying in the same spot the whole time. I'm just hanging out. All right, I ask you. I ask you to go take care of him while I go ask questions. <laughs> okay, while you're, while you guys are doing this, he takes his other hand, reaches. Oh shit! And you, you see him do this motion, and you start hearing bells. Uh oh. And now. I want to know what's going on with me and Funky. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go back. Let's go back to you guys. Wait, wait, wait. So I'm standing there, and he starts ringing a bell. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where you. I can't do that. You were, he was at the back of the room. Yeah, remember? Because I told you after I froze him, I said, take care of him. He heard that, so he takes his other hand and starts ringing the bell. He did it for my plan. Now everybody's going to come kill him. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll tell tell you. Hey, I tried to charm the guy. I charmed the commander, though. So at least we're in his room with the commander. All right, what's up with him? All right, let's go back to Gin and Juice and Funky Monkey. All right, so we are going down the steps. All right, you guys go down. It's the same sort of process. You go down what feels like several flights of stairs before you come to an actual landing. Uh, down here, it's a lot darker. There's not, a, you know, you left most yeah. of the torches upstairs. Monkey. Did you guys have to bring any with you? Um, <coughs> I actually have dark vision. Okay, you should be good. What do you think? What do you have? I've got devil sight. Devil sight. Oh, basically dark vision yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, you guys will be able to see pretty well, at least for, was it 60 feet or 120 feet? I think it's, I think 120 it's 60. 120 for me. Okay. Yeah, you guys will be able to see, uh, I think it's just in black and white, basically, though, isn't it? I, that's, yeah, that's what it says. It says normally. I can see normally. Uh, you see normally? All right, yeah. yeah. You, you see, basically, it's a dark uh, corridor. You can see several uh, like hallways leading off of it. Uh, you see one to your right and one to your left. And you see further up the hallway, you can see several other ones. What do you guys want to do? What do you, you want to walk to the end of it? Uh, so describe it one more time for me. Long hallway, uh, several passages on either side. I mean, it's several. You can't really tell yet because you can't really see the end of the hallway, so you, you assume there's probably more down that way, but admitting that you can immediately tell, you can see three. Um, so what's the end of it? Yeah, let's walk down farther. Let's right. head down. You guys head down, and you come to uh, what, uh, a couple of statues standing on either side of a door. I push, like a monkey, door? I push monkey into the door. Okay, you push I'm like, hello. Okay, yeah, you go to try and get through the door, the door is locked. I can't get in, bro. Alright, so I'm gonna pick him up and I'm gonna use him as a battering ram to bust through the door. Give me an intelligence check. Son of a bitch. Twenty. That's plus with a modifier. It's not that. Okay, uh yeah. You realize this is a fairly thick door, uh you don't know what it's really made of. It doesn't really feel like wood or stone, but it does feel very thick and very hard. You doubt you could just oh, bust through it. I pick up monkey and I'm using resin battery ram to go through the door. Let's look at these statues. There's statues All right, yeah. Away. So I'm, I wanna, I wanna check out the statues. All right, the statues themselves uh, look like basically what would be like sentries or guardians or something like that. You know, they're basically standing there. They got, like, what, the spears, like, kind of crossed against each other on either side. Yeah. Kind of get what I, the way I'm saying it. I got you. So they're right. holding it, like, over the... Yeah. I got you. It kind of crosses over the top of the uh, entrance. Um, line. what are you going to do, Funky? What do you got? Are any of their hands in any place, the hand that isn't with the spear? No. They're just basically, just side. yeah, just by their side. I'm gonna pray. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna pray, pray too. Just out on the mountain. I'm gonna pray to whatever God is gonna listen to me. I uh, wanna push the your own God would listen to you. I don't remember who my own God is. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I, I don't remember who I The Almighty Greg. Yeah, yeah, I'm praying to Greg. Wow, it's nice to be worshipped. <laughs> 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 um, and I'm asking for a sign, anything to give me an idea. Of what to do here, just 
shine me a little bit of light. Give me, give me something. All right. Uh, I want you to know if you're going to have me roll, religion is one of my abilities. Roll perception. Roll perception? Yep. No, do I get anything because I'm praying for it? So I get the plus what for religion? Just tell me what you roll. Okay. <laughs> Scum! A five. A five. Your God has <laughs> forsaken you. My God has forsaken me. Why have you forsaken me, Greg? I don't know. <laughs> it could be the lower the the lower the roll, the because then the God feels it's the more he needs it. You. You're looking for a sign. You don't see anything obvious, but what you do hear it behind you, you hear like something like falling snow behind you. Like, you hear, like, a... And then, like, the four sort of plop as snow falls. I hear something from behind us, monkey. Let's turn around and investigate over in right. this direction. All right. You walk back a little ways to the... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we start Safety. walking... <laughs> I want to say thank you. Thank you, God, because I, I appreciate your sign. No problem, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> to me. Somebody's sucking that D. Well, at, least you, at least you think he talks to you. Got a friend for me on Facebook, guys. <laughs> I will after this. Yay. Nah, Greg told if he comes me. comes down with uh, some engraved stones. I don't know. Uh, Greg's too late. Right. He prefers to be told in a uh, swing pool. <laughs> Yep, we're gonna walk over. Well, there. All right, you walk over to one of the, you walk over to where you thought you heard the sound, and you can see like a small pile of snow that just seems to have fallen from the ceiling or something. Stay uh, sitting like right dab in the middle of where this hallway would go to, like one of the hallways that go off to the off the central hallway, I guess you'd say. Is there a hole up? Do we climb up it? No. Give me uh, give me an intelligence check real quick, Jimmy. <laughs> All night. I'm really All high, dude. All night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeebus. Uh, seven. Oh, it, it's enough for you to get it. You're you basically What's get your intelligence modifier. Two. You basically get your God's really telling you to go down this hallway. At least that's what you're assuming, since you know you're praying in this plot. Okay, so let's here. go down the hallway. This other hallway. Alright, you guys go down to this other hallway and it leads to a doorway. Uh, just a regular, typical door. Kind of like the one that leads into this house. I push Funky through the door. Like, I shove him uh, through the door. Uh, okay, you give me a strength check. Somebody's dying tonight, I think. <laughs> 16. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, here's what happens. Uh, he, says, dumb. he says, hey, Funky, come over here and take a look at this. And as he walks over to look at it, he just shoves him into it. And the door kind of splinters and falls apart. Oh, Hinges right. are kind of hanging there. You know. <laughs> so what and you uh, hang on, hang on, I'm not done. Oh, now he's rolling. Now he's rolling. He's rolling. He's rolling. No. Me, me, and... You take three damage, Brando. Honey, bad. Ooh. Me right, you got splinters you. sticking in your face and everything. I don't know any of I'm going to go ahead and see how you pass. All right, I want to swing my, my mace's uh, face. What's that? I want to swing my mace's face. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. How about you don't because I just discussed it and I'm actually going to use one of my spell slots. I don't use healing word. Okay. And I'm going to use it on Brando. Uh, there shouldn't. Uh, it's just roll to see how much you. Is it yeah, four I gotta or? see what what it is. I can't remember if it's a four or a six. Healing word is one d four plus my spell casting ability modifier. What is that? Is that two? Uh, yes. Okay, so d four plus two. How much damage did you take? Three. 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 You're welcome. That's a two. That's uh, I rolled a two, plus so two, you got four. You, got, you got four health back. So you're plus one. Yeah, so Come I actually gave man. you a, a health point. You're welcome. All right, I'm not gonna hit him. Man, all I did was shove him through a door just in case I died. <laughs> all 
Alright, what's in here? I'll You've been dead once already. You look like Franken fucking dragon. Franken Frank dragon. dragon. <laughs> Alright, he shoves uh, you through this door. Uh, you two are kind of arguing at first as he shoves you through, but then you uh, notice there's a guy sitting in the uh, a desk behind the uh, door. He's just sort of dumbstruck. Is there oh, a, yeah, I'm here. I'm here from the, uh, the job uh, interview. Is there a torch like behind you or in this room anywhere? Uh, yeah, there's a small torch on the or a torch on the wall behind him. All right, I'll give you some cold plates and light his ass on fire. <laughs> no, dude, we can round it. We no, no, we'll we'll do his body after I kill him. All right. Uh, is, is this happening while we're doing our thing? Yeah, this is why so you're doing your thing. Heard. They haven't. The bells yeah, have not gone off yet. Okay. No, I might be slaughtering all the guards that are coming to kill you guys when he rings the bell. <laughs> all right. So I I wonder how he knew to do that ahead of time. <laughs> Ignite the uh, I ignite this motherfucker. All right. Uh. Yeah, I'm at a gaming. Level. I can't remember. Was there a role you had to do for that? Um. Nah, we'll just say there's not. Uh, just roll me damage for it. Oh no. Sorry guys, all of a sudden I have an ad that I don't like. <coughs> Was it control plane? Um. I would say yeah. You just want to do it. Just go ahead and roll me. I got a magical flame. I see within that fits within a five foot cube. Uh, I go ahead and roll me. expand the foot fly, the flame five foot in one direction. Provided that one or other fuel is present, I consider a person other fuel. Yeah, uh, like I said, roll me damage. Um, what's from that damage? source? I'll say it's probably a let's say D8. Eight, eight, which is eight. It's supposed to be right. No, it's eight. So that's so it's eight. Cause that's that's D8, right? Looks like the, it's either D8 or D10. I can't really tell. Uh, what's the highest number you can see? I think that's eight. It's eight. Mm -hmm. All right. So that dude just took five damage and fire. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see something real quick. Oh god! Oh no no, this is in your favor that it, that it happened. So. I just killed him. Okay. Okay. Here's what happened. You light this on, uh, like, this thing on fire behind him. He gets like a big like backdraft of flame all over him. He takes the initial damage from that, and it's enough to throw him forward. Smack his head into the uh, table in front of him, and then he falls to the side unconscious. With his uh, hair kind of semi on fire. <laughs> Brando, loot the body. Funky, loot the body. We're going to take, take one second real quick. All right. Okay. All right, uh, sorry about that, folks. A little technical difficulty. Uh, what, what were we doing just a second ago? Uh, I killed a dude. Yeah, you, you killed the dude. Uh, you're trying to loot the body, right? Or, I don't know. Fun game. Yeah, he he wants to loot the desk. All right, you're going to go loot, uh, look through the desk? Yeah, yeah. That's, that was... Uh, I think that's what he said. Yeah, he's going to look through the desk. Yeah. All right, you go over to the desk. Uh, the I'm going to loot the body while you... All right, we'll go. We'll loot the body first. You go over to the body. Uh, he's wearing what looks like a uh, guard uniform, basically. Uh, he's got a sword scabbard on. He's got you know nice shiny armor. And looks like it's never even been used before. Uh, you don't really find anything else on him. You, when you go to the desk, uh, you open it up. You see lots of uh, papers and files. Uh, most of the papers are blank. <laughs> Don't look like they're of any importance. Uh, in one of the drawers, though, the only thing is in it is a key ring with a single key on it. Oh, let's take it. All right, you I grab that. Taking that sword, by the way. You're taking the sword. Yeah. And I don't know why when I was I was looking at Mikey when all this, yeah. I'm like, this is happening to you, even though you're upstairs. You just needed somebody to look at it. Yeah. It's understandable. What kind of sword was that that I took? What was it? It was just a, yeah, it was a long sword. It would be do a D8, I think it was. Okay. 
Do you even handle a long story? I don't know. I'll find out. Alright, uh, and about this time, after you find this key, is all of a sudden you start hearing ding a ling 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 a ling. Alright, let's run to it. As you hear an alarm start going off. And that, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to call this a cliffhanger. Alright. Turn in for the next part of our Christmas special. Where we'll see if our adventurers will save St. Nick or not. You guys have a wonderful night. Till next time.